ever wanted to record your PC screen without breaking the bank or dealing with those annoying watermarks? Whether you're a gamer, content creator, or just someone looking to make tutorials, I've got you covered. Stick around, because today I'm going to show you how to record your screen on PC for free using OBS Studio. No watermarks, no gimmicks, just high quality recording. Let's get started. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 5. Download and install OBS Alright, step 5. Before we can start recording like a boss, we first need OBS Studio installed on your PC. Head over to obsproject.com, it's the official website, and you'll notice it has versions for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Go ahead and choose the platform that matches your operating system. Pro tip. Always download software from the official site to avoid getting sketchy versions. Once the download is complete, open the installer and follow the setup wizard. It's super straightforward, just click next a few times, accept the terms, and OBS will be up and running in no time. Trust me, you're already halfway there. Number 4. Configure OBS settings. Step 4. Now it's time to set up OBS for the best recording experience. Don't worry, this might seem intimidating at first, but I promise it's easier than it looks. Open OBS Studio and locate the settings button at the bottom right corner. Click that and you'll see a bunch of tabs. Go to the Output section first and select the recording format. I highly recommend MP4 for maximum compatibility. Next, adjust the bitrate. For most users, 2500 to 4000 kilobits per second is ideal for high quality video without massive file sizes. Once you've handled that, head to the Video tab Set the base, canvas resolution to match your screen's resolution, and choose your FPS. 30 is fine for most tutorials, but gamers might prefer 60. Finally, don't forget to hit Apply. With these settings, your recordings will look clean and professional every time. If you are interested to see more tricks and tips, check this video in the corner. Number 3. Add Display Capture Step 3 now. This is where we actually set up the screen recording. On the main OBS Studio interface, look for the section labeled Sources at the bottom. Click the little plus icon and select Display Capture. A new window will pop up asking you to give it a name, so call it something like My Screen. After that, choose your display if you're working with multiple monitors. OBS will instantly create a live preview of your screen. One tip here. Make sure you position your taskbar or icons exactly how you want them to appear in the recording. Once everything looks good, click OK. And just like that, your screen is ready to be captured. Number 2. Test your audio. Alright, step 2 is crucial, especially if you're planning to record a tutorial or gameplay with voiceover. Audio. OBS lets you record your mic and system audio simultaneously, but we want to make sure the sound levels are balanced. Head to the Audio Mixer section in OBS. You'll see separate sliders for your microphone and desktop audio. Speak into your mic and watch the green bar move. Aim for it to hover around 70 to 80%, too high, and it might clip or sound distorted. For desktop audio, play a video or some background music to test it the same way. If both audio sources are clear, you're good to go. Oh, and if you want to reduce background noise, you can add noise suppression by right-clicking on the mic input, selecting filters, and adding the noise suppression filter. Easy, right? Number 1. Start recording. And finally, step 1. It's time for the fun part. Go back to OBS's main dashboard. You should see two buttons at the bottom right corner labeled Start Streaming and Start Recording. Click Start Recording, and just like that, you're capturing your screen. Minimize OBS if needed, and start navigating through whatever you're showcasing. When you're done, come back and hit Stop Recording. OBS will automatically save the video file to the folder specified in your settings. Didn't specify one? No worries. OBS defaults to the Videos folder on your PC. You can go ahead, review your masterpiece, and share it wherever you like. And there you have it folks, recording your screen on PC has never been easier thanks to OBS Studio. Whether you're creating content, recording tutorials, or capturing gameplay, OBS is a tool you can rely on without spending a dime or worrying about watermarks. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe for more tech tutorials, and leave a comment if you have any questions or want me to cover another topic. Thanks for watching, and happy screen recording.